Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Simon from BizLearn here. Hi and welcome to a new review video of the latest major release NX 1980. Today I'm going to be talking about expression enhancement. If you have a look at the documentary, you will see that it's just a very tiny enhancement. So is it worth a video? I think yes, because this is something I've been waiting for within my overall career as an Annex designer. If you are, and that's what I'm doing, using user expressions to control your parameters of your part by using this list, every user expression is displayed within here. And the renewal is that you can define whether a user expression is displayed or not. Within this file, there are only two relevant use expressions, which I'd like to modify for the creation of different versions. It's radius, size and wall thickness. How can we hide those expressions? It is possible now. Of course, in the past, I was searching for different workflows in order to, to separate expressions that are variable between those which are not. So what I did in my past is, therefore, I'm going to start the expression editor via Control and E on the keyboard. First of all, I will filter to user defined expressions. Here they are. What I was doing, I was just selecting those right click and lock the formulas. And after applying this, those are locked. Of course, everyone can unlock them, but it's a little bit clearer what's happening here. But if you have a large list still, I feel a little bit uncomfortable. So what you can do, since I guess it's also one of these continuous release versions, I'm just going to unlock those. What you can do is working with groups. And that's what I am actually doing. Each part contains a default group, which is active. And in order to separate groups, you will have to define a second group. While right click, you can create a new group, which I call adjustable. And this needs to be activated. Only one group can be active at a time. So I'm going to right click this and make this active. In order to move expressions into a group, I would just have to expand this dialog a little bit. Here you can see it. Within this column, you've got the option to move specific constraints to a specific group like the wall thickness for example which shall be now adjustable as well as the radius and the sides and after applying this there is no separation within or below the user expression folder within here it is and what you also have to do in order to display all the groups is use the option show all instead of show active only. I'm just going to hit OK. And now what you can do in order to separate groups is a right click on use expression, show expression groups. And this was a method that I was following during the last years in order to separate my expressions. Still, the default group is shown. And now there is a solution, which I think is pretty nice and so simple. I'm just going to disable this option again, open the expression editor. And now I'm going to select those expressions, which I don't want to see below the user expression folder, make a right click and hide in part navigator. This is the renewal in the latest release NX 1980. You can hide expressions in the part navigator. That's so nice. And now you can see only expressions which shall be shown are displayed. I have explained several and maybe there are a few more ideas of how to separate user expressions. You can also separate by, by naming rules, however. But I think this enhancement is something I'm going to prefer in the future because it's simple and there can't be a better display of your user expressions. Maybe you're interested in this part. Maybe you're interested in design groups. Let me know in the comments below if I shall do a further video about design groups, about all the 
positive aspects of design groups. There are some, but it is not that simple. As you can see, Boolean operations are separated and I have to do extracts and there are some rules we have to follow in order to properly use design groups. For those of you who are still watching in this part, you can easily adjust the number of sites, for example, you can also increase the number. Maybe the edge plan here might fail, so you will have to adjust the value here. But anyway, this is constructed very stable by always considering the selection rules and modularity as I am talking about it in all of my videos. And I will link this file below the video. So you can open this. As you can see, it's NX1899. You will have to use one of the continuous release in order to be able to open this and just have your own hands on and review my style, my preferred style of modeling parts. Have a nice day. If you haven't subscribed yet, I recommend you to do next week. I'm going to upload a further video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.